Rogue, pay. <laughs> Not rogue. I went. I scrambled, and I sh I should have just stayed, stayed in, in the pocket. pocket, bro. You feel me? But this is what I really want the narrative to be. To every single high school player, to every single person of influence, to every single athlete, use my situation as a way to understand that in one moment, in one decision, your life can change. Just like that. And I let my emotions get the best of me. And it should not have been called for. Mm -hmm. Simple. And with that, I apologize to anybody affected. That's Steph, that's TJ, that's their organization, that's C1N, my organization, that's my players, my parents, my staff members. And when you really debrief from days after, it really puts things into perspective. And I'll and I tell you this, my president of my program, uh, Kendall Logel, person who I have high regards for, he called me. And even though he was empathetic to understanding where I was coming from, he simply said, Cam, that cannot happen. You mean too much to too many people. Too many people are betting on you to keep their lights on. Mm -hmm. And when he said that, it's, it's never mind me as a father. Because when I say peg, 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 I think about you. I think about the kids who look up to me and also whether they verbalize their appreciation or just stare in amazement. I feel like I let them down. Mm. Because I can't sit up there and say, hey, bro, you got to be bigger than that. And then all of a sudden I do that. And that just goes to show you, you got to always stay in control of your emotions. And that's where the humanistic side came in there and there's no excuse it's, it's really not because it could have been a melee um more violence could have stemmed from that yeah, anything and it, it, it's just not called for and on top of that it's it's echoing something that's been permeating for years black people why, why, why I got to be at a black event? You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And I could easily say, damn, like, I can play the victim, and I'm not going to do that. I'm going to hold myself to that same standard, bro, to say, like, look, everywhere that I go, people talk. People say, yo, why you didn't jump on a fumble? Hey, yo, Von Miller, your daddy. Hey, yo, like, Mac Jones took your job. Hey, yo, Brock Parody is better than you. Hey, yo, like, she, you a free agent. That's, that's normal. I'm used to playing in front of 100,000 people mm -hmm. and millions watching. And I let one person dictate how I feel? No, I can't do that. But I did that day. So, yeah, even with that, so talking to KO, Kendall, my girl, mm -hmm. when she talked to me, it's like, baby, it's, I'm glad you're safe first. But are you looking at it through the lens of what if one of your hands was free? What if you did punch him? What if you did throw him over the balcony? What if they would have broke your jaw? What if they would have knocked you in a coma? These are things that, yeah, we laugh about. These are things that, yo, like, yeah, cam hat stayed on. Yeah, some Mashika plug. Yeah, go buy a Mashika hat. Yeah. But I'm lucky to have this opportunity to be standing as a witness to say, don't be like me be better than me. And I could easily try to advise a kid like, no, nah, bro, don't do that, bro, don't do that, bro, don't do that. But until you're in that position and somebody talking shit to you, it's hard, it's tough, but heavy is the crown. Too much is given, much is required. You can't sit up there and say, oh, I want to be a five-star recruit and people can't talk to me. It, 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 it just doesn't it goes, work like, it it don't with, work like yeah. that. You see what I'm saying? So what I learned from this is this. I was, uh, was going to do a Funky Friday. I wanted to, you know, have somebody. I wanted to talk to them. But I, I think it's better served by myself. Because 
it could have really been something that we all didn't want to see happen. Yeah, I apologize. Steph, I apologize, TJ. And I see what y'all doing. I see, and I could call it what it was. It was some words that were said, and, and, and I think the words triggered them, and it was words that triggered me. So with that, I know what they do for the kids. I know their level of commitment to impacting or using their platform for a positive way in the community. Anybody who takes the time to caters, to, to be of service to somebody else, my hat goes off to them. And I know what it's like. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of time. It's a lot of energy that goes in. It's a lot of effort that goes into making these kids' lives extremely easy. And I don't want these kids, no matter what team you play for, doesn't matter what sport you play, it could be AAU basketball, it could be football, to take this opportunity for granted because there are learning tools that could be had in this, in this situation. So, so Cam, I mean, obviously there's been a lot of reports, a lot of people had a lot to say, mm -hmm. you know, like Cam should stop. He shouldn't be, you know, doing any more 707. So my question is, like, are you still going to be committed to 707 and youth sports? Absolutely. This is something that I've been doing going on 13, 14 years, and I enjoy this. This is my way of giving back. Um, mm -hmm. Why? Because the kids find it amusing and appeasing and wowing to say, man, I played for Cam Newton, or I played with Cam Newton's team, or we played against Cam Newton. But that same energy is reciprocated for me to say, bro, I see so much of me and them mm -hmm. hungry, desiring to say like, man, I, I can, this football can take me a lot of places, just like it took me a lot of places. And being around the kids on the buses, being around the kids at the hotels, the Airbnbs, eating the same food that they eat, just being around, that's what I enjoy more. It's not even the football side of, of it. It's the, it's the, hey, coach, hey, what's the first thing you got? Co Those conversations. Hey, coach, man, let me talk to you, man. Like, I got a girlfriend, coach. Like, yeah. she trying to go to college with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, those are, the, those are the reasons why I'm involved heavily in this space. Because, like I always tell kids, if you no longer can play this game, Make it be because of the Cam Newton way. Mm -hmm. Somebody think that I cannot play at the level that it's, it's subjective. Yeah. It's, it's not doing dumb shit that I did this past week or it's dumb shit being involved in the things that happened this past week. Mm -hmm. So that's why I cannot stop, Pitt. Yeah. I have to give my time and I have to empower and I have to reach back and bring somebody along and say, dog, it ain't worth it. And now, more than ever, I can prove to them and show them, like, bro, that's some dumb ass shit that I did. Learn from that. You see, all that, that shit cool. Y'all see me fighting off people. Lot of, that's, not, that's, not, that's not what I want y'all to dwell on. What I want you to dwell on is if, if he sucker punched me and knocked me in a coma, my football career is over. If, if somebody grabbed a pistol, out of self-defense, nah, bro, he's 6'5", bro. I can't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with that, man. I got to – it's over with. Yeah. A, a, a simple, rational decision of saying, like, nah, bro, he disrespecting me, bro. You can't play that. It don't matter if you was a five-star recruit. It doesn't matter if you had a scholarship to Georgia. It doesn't matter if you had a scholarship to Auburn. That don't matter no more. You're going to jail or you're going underneath the ground. Yeah. So I cannot – I have to use my story – to empower the next generation. And that's all I want to do. I want to, I want to use what I've been through as information to change the narrative. Because the, to be honest with you, and I know I'm, I'm long-winded, but I have to say this. this. These are a lot of children's way out of their situation. Yeah. They don't have lawyers to look up to. They don't have counselors to look up to. They see street niggas. They see P 
people who are rapping and they see athletes as people that they look up to. And from an athlete, I'm going to tell them, bro, bro, listen, stay focused. Eat, sleep, perfect your craft of whatever you want to do. You ain't, you can't do both. I never seen Lil Wayne on the football field. I never seen two chains in the back. Like they had to commit to something mm -hmm. and commit to it and do not get distracted because the distractions are out there. And it's not the ones that you see, it's the ones that you don't see. And nobody sees a bad opportunity coming, they just see it going. Mm. It could have went so many different ways. And I'm not about to sit up here and stand like, bruh, I, my folk wasn't even like, no. That shit ain't cool, bro. That shit ain't cool. I, they, I know them mm -hmm. personally. And they know me. I don't think they've seen that side of me mm -hmm. ever. I don't think a lot of people ever did. And that's what I'm so disappointed in myself because you should never see that side. Mm -hmm. That was fourth and one can. Where it, it was, it was forgiven. Like you, that's where it, that was. It's a time and a place for everything. everything. That, that was boogie. That wasn't can. Yeah, that 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 wasn't that. Yeah. And I'm not about to sit up here and say standing on business. Like, nah, bro. Like I see it now, and I just I, my heart goes out to everybody who played a role and 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 supported me through and through. But we got to be better, and it starts with me. My heart goes out to my family. My heart goes out to yeah, everybody. I can't apologize. I don't apologize enough. I, and uh, I just know, bro, my heart is still in, in, in a place to, to still give. And not give to be seen. Give to, be, to have the impact. Because mm -hmm. how I get fulfilled in it is when somebody comes to me that's in the league, out of the league, have a family now, I wouldn't be in this position if it weren't for Cam Newton and the C1A organization. Bro, you was my father figure. You was my big brother. You was the dude that I looked up to. I seen how you came to practice. And I seen you proved to me that I didn't need to sell drugs to get a urus. You, you, you proved to me, like, I didn't need to rob nobody to get a wraith. I seen all that. Like, Coach, you empowered me. And that's all I want to keep doing is to empower, empowering the next generation. And really not to even bring, like, we need more people involved. You feel me? So, yeah, Peg. We're keeping power on, book. We gonna sign it on out, bro. Don't hit us with it for the one time, man. Hey, man, listen, as we end things here at 4th and 1, could we have talked more about it, Peg? We could. We could, but we just gonna leave it there. All hearts and minds are clear. The doors of the church are now the, open. The doors of the church is now open. And uh, make sure you like, Peg. Uh huh. Make sure you share, Peg. Come on. Make sure you comment, Peg. And what's most of all? You make sure you subscribe, Peg. Well, let's do it then. Uh, it was a lot going on this week, so <laughs> we usually drop these on Wednesdays. Okay. But. <sighs> We ask for y'all to keep us in y'all prayers. All right. We need to be better. Uh -huh. Lord Jesus. All right. And as we end things here, fourth and one. Uh huh. Gotta get the finger. 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 Uh -huh. Gotta get the pinky. Gotta get the thumb. All together. One, one love. love. You did. You did.